Hey y'all, Snooplax here, and today we're going to be checking out a really cool ROM hack. This is Banjo-Kazooie Returns by Super Zambezi. This is just the demo. Do not press A or you won't be able to progress. Press a B to learn your basic moves. Alright, I'll make sure to press a B here. There are 12 jiggies, 100 notes, and 15 mumbo tokens to collect in the demo. Right, let's do this. You said you didn't need my help, so you're on your own until you get inside. Alright, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, it looks like there's a mumbo token there. We'll grab that. It's a pretty cool throw and like really cool textures. I'm surprised how well this runs on console too, because I'm playing this on an EverDrive 64. It's kind of cool to have the ending credits music too. It's a good theme, and it's kind of a bummer that only plays during the credits. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Old news next. Alright, got that move. Oh wow, that worked. It just made sense, like he literally just told me to do it, but... Okay, the stained glass. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I'm Sticky Tasty Honey Energy. Why is it... Red? Wait. It's weird. Why, yes, I would love to talk to you, Banjo, because he returns. Will release when? It's ready. Check back in a few years. Oh, a few years. What you can do is watch the weekly streams over at youtube.com slash superzambezi and join the Discord. It's cool. I work on the project and model levels while getting feedback from everyone that watches. Alright, you get the point. Yeah, so obviously huge shout out to Super Zambezi. I'll probably join his Discord after this and maybe try to catch some of his live streams. Like, this is such a amazing hack that he's made so far so I have a lot of respect for people that can like model this well and do work this good like... all right first note or first jiggy I mean so I'm assuming I can just go and put this jiggy down on that puzzle piece It's a jigsaw piece. Stand on the podium and hit A to place the jiggy. Right, goggles. Nice. Alright, first level's open. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm. Oh. Well, I've all, I'm already stuck, but I'm assuming you just gotta climb these mushrooms, maybe, and then you could make it there this way. Oh wait, no, this is probably the talent trying guy. We're nice and slim once more. Burgers, fries, and chips galore. Yeah. That's good game design, making it a slope down there so you have to learn it, like... That is great game design there. Must be over here then. Alright, well... Oh, another mumbo token, that's 2 out of 5 for the hub world. I should all remember that. I want 100% complete this, it shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, let's go, dude. Alright. Cool. Cool so far. Just 
assuming this will let me use the Talon Trot. Or not the Talon Trot, this special jump move. Right, cool. So when I'm done with this level, I should have 12 Mumbo tokens. Alright, sweet. First Jiggy of the world. Oh wait, there are 10 Jiggies in this world, and I think he said and 2 in the hub world. I should have read that, I'm pretty sure. 10 in here and 2 in the hub. Yeah, that make that would make sense. It's already got one from the hub, so there'll be one more. Right, cool. This definitely kind of reminds me of Dr Banjo Dreamy a bit. Banjo Dream Banjo Dreamy is another really cool ROM hack that was made by the logo. I had a couple streams of that on my channel, but it's a complete one, so it's pretty big. This is just a demo, so this shouldn't take me too long. Oh no, come on. Oh, no fall damage, so can't complain too much. Oh, nice. Jiggy just right there. I guess uh, that was probably one of the more hidden ones. Oh, this should be the Jiggy out in this world. Super Zambezi, like, I could be wrong, but I think he helped make Banjo's backpack in a sense, because he has a bunch of stuff in here that, like, most people wouldn't know how to do, like, pressing that, uh, Grunty switch, for instance, I've never seen that in a ROM hack before. Same with opening a level from, uh, presenting Jiggies, like... I have a feeling that this might be uh, a little bit like easy of a ROM hack, which is cool, uh, but this, I really enjoy this, so I'd like to play this for a while, but it kind of looks like I might only be playing this for like 25 minutes, but still super impressive demo, like, it's always good that when you leave a video game wanting more, you know? Always good, and you're like, oh, I wish this game was longer rather than like, oh, this game took forever, so. Alright, I think, uh, yeah, it should be good for this house unless this door is breakable, but. Yeah. Don't expect so much. Oh! I think he might have actually changed the model for that frog, because usually it would be red. I don't think there is a blue model in the game for it. Oh, what? Did you guys see that? It, there was like a... It seemed like there was a shock pad on like a leaf. Oh, nice, there's honeycombs in here, too. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Harder. I wonder if he actually has six in this. Alright, oh wow, that is a leaf. Chocolate on a leaf, that is so cool. Like, especially the fact that he was able to get the leaves to move on the waterfall, like, I'm really impressed by this hack so far. I cannot wait for this to release, like, this and Banjo Kazooie. Jiggies of Time by Mark Kirkle, those are two hacks I just cannot wait for. 
Oh, so I have to land on it again. Because just that initial jump. So that's that's pretty cool. A very interesting game design, you know? Something that we've never seen in Kazooie or Tui. Alright, just gotta wait for the pad to come back. Here we go. What's up here? Probably be a ginger up here when I take this shock pad. Oh. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to get up there yet. Maybe if I uh, jump like this. Oh, nice. That's a pretty cool little trick they got there. Looks like the Jinjo is going to be in that hole too. Oh, yeah, that is very cool. Got a Mambo token and another G. Alright, so that's it for this area. Onto this house here. I'm not sure if this area will actually kill me or if it's like. I don't think it would. I'm not exactly sure where that Jiggy is, so I'll leave it for now. That's pretty cool. They got like... What is this? Like a little squid? Or a seashell? Or... His eyes and everything? That's really cool. Oh. So that's. Okay, I kept my notes at least. Oh. Mambo token over there. Better grab it. I'm gonna see if, uh. I'm gonna hit this J switch again and just see where it actually goes to. I'm not sure if this is the correct path, but... Okay, yeah, there it is. No, I should've went straight. Oh, wait! Oh! Alright, so this wasn't the timer jiggy anyway, so that's alright. So I'm definitely missing like a whole section of this level. Oh yeah, I fell off this the first time, so... Okay, no nope. This part is like so difficult. All right.
Wait, there should only be one more these tokens left. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'll get this Jiggy next. Okay, yes, it's right there. Oh, there we go. That was a tricky Jinjo to get, like... Wait, there was a mumbo token? Oh, right over here. Yes, that's 12, so that's the 10 mumbles tokens. I'm only missing five jiggies, I think, or five notes. It. So when I got that jiggy, I must have clipped it. All right, there we go, another honeycomb piece. All right, so this level is all done. This was a pretty fun little level. Alright, so, see what's in this pad. Actually, it'll be to get this jiggy. There we go. Should we just do more mumbo tokens? Oh, there we go. There is the last Mumbo token, and that's it. That is Banjo-Kazooie Returns. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Obviously, big thanks to Super Zambezi for making this amazing hack. Please check out his channel, try out this demo, and I'll try to keep you guys posted for when this game comes out, because I will definitely be playing it. And I hope you guys all have a great day.